Hey everyone, my name is Ross Miner, and I will be showing you guys how blind people are able to use smartphones. So for those who don't know, I am blind, and so that's pretty much the whole reason why I'm making this video, for educational purposes and whatnot. But uh, yeah, if you are new to this channel, feel free to check out my other videos. It's a lot of uh, gaming and a couple other informative things. But anyway, every Apple device, whether it be an iPhone, which I have right here, an iPhone 6, whether it be an iPhone, a watch, a TV, a Mac, iPod, anything, has a program that Apple created called VoiceOver. And what VoiceOver does is allow blind people like myself to, well, essentially, you know, use the iPhone without sight. And so I have my iPhone 6 here, and I'm just going to briefly run my finger across the screen so you can hear what voiceover sounds like. And I do have another video on my channel about, you know, how I use computers, so feel free to check that out. If it, it's, it's similar, it's, it's along the same lines. Stocks, settings, contacts, games folder, five apps, my CEO, Facebook, home, phone, 19 new items. And so that's voiceover, you know, reading out my home screen to me. I should probably I'll slow it down. Handwriting, actions, language, audio docket, settings, phone, 19 new items, speaking rate, 7, 6, 59 per, 54 percent. And part of the reason why you know Apple is just such a great company and why I love my iPhone is that they, one of their goals is to strive for accessibility among people with disabilities. So whether you're blind, deaf, or have any other handicap, they do their best to accommodate. So people with disabilities are allowed to are allowed to use their products. Um, I remember when I first got an iPhone, you know, I, I was very skeptical because I was on my AT&T Nokia before and I loved that thing. Um, but when I switched to a 3GS, you know, I fell in love with the iPhone and it's, it's pretty much started my whole love of computers and why I'm, you know, getting a degree in information science. But anyway, if you were to give me your phone and I turned on voiceover, every single gesture almost every, i don't want to say every single but almost every gesture would be changed in the sense that if you tried let's say tapping on messages to open it if you did that with voiceover it wouldn't open messages instead if i tapped on my messages Doc, messages it would just say messages Actions and not do anything however this is where you know like apple has laid the groundwork for what should be expected in a screen reader in an iPhone, or not an iPhone, uh, in a smartphone, is that in order to activate an app, you have to double tap on the screen. It doesn't have to be right on the app, it can actually be anywhere on the screen. So again, you know, helping out blind people or maybe people with a uh, disability in their hands to not have to be so coordinated with where they tap, which is pretty cool. So I'm gonna go to settings. Netflix, phone, contact settings. And if I just tap twice anywhere on the screen, settings. it opens it. And another way you can do it is settings, by holding settings. one thumb on the icon, or not icon, on the app, and then pressing anywhere else with a different finger. That's called Airplane split. Mode. Uh, I think it's called like split tap, split touch. I, I, I forget. There's, there's so many. There are so many gestures in voiceover. I'm not going to go over all of them. Obviously, in this video, it's just sort of like an informative video, kind of like my other computer one. But anyway, so I'm going to show you guys how you can turn on voiceover on your iPhone if you really want to do that. I advise you, though, <laughs> make sure you know how to turn it off or else you may get stuck with voiceover on and having a robot speak to you. Um, so what you got to do is, here, I'm going to turn up this rate. You're going to want to go to general. Accessibility. And boom, voiceover is right there for you to turn on. You just open that and there, here, blah, blah, blah. I, my words, if, if you could... I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's a video. You can see the time. I'm staying up so late to do this video. I just wanted to get something done today. But anyway, so yeah, if I scroll through, you can see all the different settings there are for voiceover. And so you can even, I know a lot of people are probably wondering this, but you can even change the speech for voiceover or the language or the accent. So go to speech. Okay. So I'm going to go to voice. Currently, I'm not using the default voice. I'm using Allison just because I like her voice the best. Um, but they do have a really good voice called Alex. Each each voice has their own name, which is kind of cool. 
Um, and Alex sounds really good. He's got like a very rich voice. And I think it's the only voice that in between sentences, you can actually hear it taking a breath, which is pretty, it's just like the, the attention to detail that Apple has. I'm, like, I'm totally fanboying over them, but you know, here's a speaking sample. Hello, my name is Alex. And I can actually switch to him right now, I think, by clicking that. Yeah, there we go. So now I'm using Alex. And so those are different American voices, but you could even switch to Australian if you want, like, a hot Australian girl. <laughs> Not just kidding. Or South African, Irish. South African space Irish, I mean. <laughs> um, or if you want like a, you know, an English United Kingdom voice, you got Daniel, Kate, Oliver, Serena, and I think, yeah, I think, let's see, I have Dan, I like Daniel's voice. Hello, my name is Daniel. So there's that, like, there's all sorts of voice. there's all sorts of voices, so. I think that, I mean... Maybe like at least ten, just for English, and the and then there's different languages. Like I think I have Spanish. Yeah, there's Spanish, and it's pretty high quality too. Like all, these voices are very high quality, which is what I love. Let me go back to Allison and set that. Okay. And what I just described to you with voiceover is like the tip of the iceberg. Because there are so many different gestures, like there's swiping on the screen, there's, how do I describe this, tapping twice on the finger, <laughs> sorry, twice on the screen with two fingers, you can tell I'm really tired, or three times on the screen with two fingers, or twice on the screen with three fingers, they all, they all do something different. So, for example, if I wanted to listen to music, and you know, I was thinking about it today, and I was like, voiceover in a lot of ways gives me an advantage over sighted people because I'm able to do a lot more types of uh, a lot more types of gestures like for example before I get to the music um, let's say I'm worried about someone looking over my shoulder when I'm sending a text I can tap on the screen I almost said finger again I could tap on the screen three times with three fingers it's called a three finger triple tap and it'll do this it'll turn on the screen curtain and that way no one can look over my shoulder and I'm saving battery so it's it's a win-win. It's just a really cool thing that Apple threw in there. But yeah, if I went to music, and let's see. I hope this won't be loud. This may be, warning. This may be loud. Okay, yeah. So like I have music playing right now, and I can scroll through. And so, like, cool, I have my music, right? Well, then, if I turn voiceover back on, and by the way, I don't have to scroll through music with voiceover off. It's just what I prefer to do. But, like, let's say I'm at the home screen or wherever. If I tap on the screen twice with two fingers, it'll pause it. And then if I just want to play it again. So, yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty cool about voiceover. And... I hope that music wasn't too loud. I don't think it would be. But anyway, another question that I'm anticipating people are going to ask me is, you know, how do you text? Well, I will briefly show you that right now. So, like, let's say I'm going to text my friend Diana. I use an app called Flexi. It's a downloadable keyboard. So, you know, go to the app store if you want to download that. And basically how it works is I type where I think the letter is. And then I, you know, I spell out my word, and then I swipe right, and it'll autocorrect it. So, like, if I said, "Hello,", Hello. boom, it autocorrects it. How? DJS. Is bot. Deleted bot. How? How? DTF. Deleted DTF. R. R. U. U. Doing. Doing. GF. Today. Today. Question mark. Or if I want to do like, ha ha ha, or LOL, or OMG, blah blah blah, you know, like, you guys get the picture. Um, but yeah, I'm able to do that. And, oh, I shouldn't have exited out because another question that you guys are probably going to ask is, 
Can I use emojis? And I can. If I go to the emoji keyboard, Apple has already made it so voiceover reads out all the emojis. Wow, that's ironic. I didn't even mean to press that, but it was a handicap symbol. We're like, hold on, let me slow it down. Edit, language, typing mode, audio ducking, delete, settings, speaking rate, 74%, 6, 6, 54, frequency, snowboarder, fi next key, smileys and people, smiling face with halo, grinning face with tightly closed eyes, grinning face with squinting eyes and sweat drop, 37. Like, you can see it's, it's very descriptive, uh, what was it? Grinning face with squinting eyes and sweat drop, 37. Grinning face with squinting eyes and sweat drop, <laughs> like, so it's very descriptive and it's very creative on Dog. Apple's part. I can't stand having my voice that slow. But anyway, yeah, like that's that's the general basics of voiceover. And I've been thinking about maybe like doing a series and breaking down voiceover video by video and like just showing people maybe who have recently gone blind or have recently gotten an iPhone, you know, how to use voiceover to their fullest potential. Besides that, you know, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Mention me on Twitter or DM me on Twitter, either one. And let, let me know what you guys think. I will also, let's see, I'll post like a link to my other computer, how I use computer in the description. So if you want to check that out as well, like feel free and feel free to share this video as well. You know, I could use the support. Um, but other than, but geez, I got to go to bed. I am so tired. Other than that, um, I guess I will see you guys next time.